This video shows you how to use the IBM Cloud SQL Query REST API. From the command line, you can use curl to get and post requests to the IBM Cloud SQL Query REST API. Since Cloud SQL Query uses IAM, or Identity and Access Management, you'll need to obtain the IAM token to pass in the authorization parameter. For that, you'll need the IBM Cloud CLI tool available through the documentation. Use the Quick Installation options or download install the CLI tool. Then from the command line, run IBM Cloud Login SSO to log in to your IBM Cloud account using single sign-on. When prompted, open the URL in a browser. Now copy the passcode and paste it on the command line. If prompted, select the desired organization within your account. Now you're successfully logged in. Next, get the IAM token by running IBM Cloud IAM OAuth tokens and copy the IAM token. Set an environment variable with the IAM token. You'll also need the instant CRN, which you can find on the service launch page for your Cloud SQL Query instance in IBM Cloud. And set an environment variable with the instant CRN. Now you can use these variables in the curl commands. The first curl command gets a list of all of the SQL jobs. For a get, you need to pass the URL, which contains the API endpoint, and the instance CRN. And this option includes the IAM authorization token. Executing that curl command, the response shows a list of all the SQL jobs, including the job ID, status, submit time, and the user who ran the job. You can copy one of the job IDs, store it in an environment variable, and add that to the API endpoint to get the status of just that job. Now let's post to the API endpoint. The URL and authorization remain the same as with the first GET request and also includes this option, which specifies a file in JSON format, which contains the query. Taking a look at the JSON file, it contains a basic query to return the first 10 results from the Data Historian Parquet bucket that begin with example and place those results in the specified bucket. The response includes the job ID, which you can store in an environment variable and then add to the API endpoint to get the status of that job. The status will be queued, running, or completed. The response also includes the location and prefix for the query results. You can go back to your cloud object storage and navigate to the SQL target location and see the objects with the result prefix. Here's the job ID, status, and results for the query executed using the API. You can download the CSV file and then view the query results. If you go back to the IBM Cloud SQL Query Console, you'll see that the queries executed from the command line are also logged to the console. So that's the basics of using the IBM Cloud SQL Query REST API. Refer to the SQL Query API documentation for more information. Watch the next video in this series to see how to get, put, copy, and delete objects from an IBM Cloud Object Storage instance through the command line. Find more videos in the IBM Watson Data and AI Learning Center.